The structure of a leaf Hi everyone, I'm Evelyn. Here, I will explain about the structure of a leaf. Learning points 1. Label the parts of a leaf 2. Describe how leaves are adapted to their function. 3. Explain the role of the stomata in gas exchange. Why do plants have leaves? Leaves. Leaves produce food for the plant by a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis produces glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water using light energy. How are leaves adapted? Leaves have a large surface area to maximize light absorption. Leaves are thin, so there is a short distance for carbon dioxide to diffuse into leaf cells. Some cells in a plant, leaves contain chloroplasts to facilitate photosynthesis. Leaves contain tiny holes called stomata to help with gas exchange. How are leaves structured? Waxy cuticle. The waxy cuticle protects the leaf from infection and prevents water loss without blocking out sunlight. Upper epidermis. The upper epidermis is a layer of cells below the waxy cuticle. It protects the leaf. It is transparent which enables light to pass through to the chloroplasts in the cells below. Palisade mesophyll. Palisade cells are packed closely together and full of chloroplasts, which contain chlorophyll, the sites of photosynthesis. Spongy mesophyll. The spongy mesophyll are packed loosely with air gaps in between them for efficient gas exchange. They are covered by a thin layer of water so gas can dissolve in water to move into and out of the cell. Lower epidermis. The lower epidermis is on the underside of the leaf. It contains tiny pores called stomata. Quart cells and stomata. Tiny holes called stomata can be found within the lower epidermis. They are surrounded by kindness shaped cells called quart cells which open and close the holes. Gas exchange. Carbon dioxide moves from the air into the leaf through the stomata. At the same time, oxygen moves out, the, out of the leaf through the stomata. Water vapor also diffuses out of the stomata. That's all the material. Thank you.